All right, guys, we are back. The two teams have locked in. They are ready, and we're going to see the first picks in the bands. This is going to be the same setups as last time. Comrade, your predictions? I'm predicting <coughs> Krill Band, and then... Double Frost Mage Band, same thing so far. Damn it. I don't know. I'm just interested to see if Mushroom Company's really going to pick into the same thing as last time, because I think that would be a pretty big mistake, to be honest with you. I just... Uh, I have no idea. I have yeah. no idea, Isaac. Yeah. I'm, I'm caught between a rock and a hard place. Are you? Yeah, if I were them... I'd really just ban the Shadow Priest. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I think that's not a bad choice. Uh, you know, they could play, make him play the Ellie Monk Druid. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's okay. Um, Shadow, okay, so it's going to be an Affliction Warlock pick, so it is already going to be different. Um, it could actually be Shadow Cleave, uh, but we're going to find out. So Ellie's going to be banned. Feral's going to be banned. So same comp. God damn it. It's going to be the same comp from uh, from second place once again. Yeah, and it's probably going to be Shadow Cleave now. It's probably going to be uh, the Affliction Warlock DK team. I don't really know if that's that's better against this or not. I don't really think hope, it is. I hope they pick Krill. Yes, good. And yeah, now it's gonna I be hope they throw a fire mage. Fire mage it. Please. They're not gonna fire mage. He doesn't he doesn't play it ever. He totally could. I mean like I just don't see um Damn it. I don't see them killing against this triple hybrid team as Shadowcleave. Uh, they're going to play... Okay, Rest of Shaman actually like that. That is actually a good choice. Uh, they're going to have the 8% mastery or so, so they are going to have a lot higher damage with the Shadow Cleave, so I think that's something they need to do instead of playing with the Rest of Shaman. They are going to be... Like, it's it's a lot easier to die if you're playing with the Rest of Shaman, but the mastery buff does give you a lot better pressure. The purges give you better pressure as well, so uh, this is at least going to be a more interesting uh, game. One way or the other, it's going to end faster, I think, uh, than the last, the last series did, so... Either you know, either they're going to be able to heal through the damage, or they're not. It's it's just going to be uh, whether or not you know Soda Krill and Venbruki can take the take the pressure of this of this Shadow Cleave. Hmm. So guys, I think it, oh. I think our second place team has a good chance. Yeah, so do I. I think they have a good chance too. Um, but I think the Resto Shaman choice was actually intelligent. We'll see. You know, it also depends. Like I don't know, is Resto Shaman this guy's alt? Is it his main? You know, was Druid his alt? Uh, how good is he really? Um, on, on these on these uh, these classes, so uh, we're gonna find out exactly exactly what's going on with this man. Um, it's gonna be like really really close, like really close. I think uh, in this series, it should be it should be pretty interesting. Yeah, <coughs> agreed. Let's rapid fire some questions right here from Twitter. Do you feel the five and four changing row we're gonna see Rexful and others make comeback? No. Would you rather reduce the number of hours of sleep? you need to 5 hours or increase it to 10 but you can control dreams uh, 5 hours we'd rather have to sing the national anthem at the Super Bowl have a naked scene in a blockbuster movie national anthem? I have a great singing voice don't ask me that question Kevin uh, favorite female streamer on Twitch Casey Tron <coughs> easy, she's actually hilarious that's what, that's what a lot of people have, have told me mm -hmm. I, haven't, I haven't really gotten a chance to watch her stream yet though at Dude, least not for more than like a minute or two and she didn't do anything funny when I watched she's actually hilarious man she's so funny I'm gonna have to watch it I've seen her in my stream a couple times but yeah, I haven't actually good. gotten a chance to to watch her stream yet much but I, like everyone tells me she's funny everyone everyone she just says she's like actually like a really good like troll or whatever if you want to call it wow everyone she's not hilarious. a troll shh, 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 shh. <laughs> so many people think she's so serious they're like you're dumb as a brick wow. <laughs> like, nah kid you're the dumb one holla but she's actually hilarious. Um, oh, there was another good question. New tweet. Have you read this yet? I made this for you. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> it made me smile. What one? But it's a he made a rage comic, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tweet all your favorite memes. No. Uh, your Rage comics, etc. <laughs> your favorite Fedora websites. <laughs> 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 to uh, at Comrade NEO on Twitter. He really appreciates the guys, especially since you know this is the last day we're going to be commentating together. He may not really get a chance to 
I have to get a, as many of those those great memes as he really likes to do on a day to day basis. It's true. It's true. Yeah. You know, I actually put on a fedora last weekend. No joke. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, I was in a store and I just put it on. Walked around with it for like two minutes and I felt smarter. I'll, I'll, you know, I looked out at the world and I saw science. I saw that there was no <laughs> God. <laughs> I understood everything. For some reason, every girl looked at me though and was like, "You're in the friend zone." I was like, "Okay, I don't know why you would say that." <laughs> That's that's interesting how that happens. I mean, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's crazy. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think that that kind of like immediate uh, immediate effect um, would be had by just putting on a fedora. I guess just instant. Oh, it does. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's that's really incredible stuff, man. That is that is just uh, enlightening, man. So, I mean, maybe you could just like rotate between fedora and non fedora, and you could <laughs> become really intelligent and then take it off when you want to get the lady. So you think. <laughs> <laughs> you just pull the old swapperoo. The old swapperoo. Yeah, do you think it would work? And the girl's like, you know, I really feel like you're such a good friend, and I just take just, off the you just fedora. Take off the fedora, and you put on your USA she's headband just, with the American she's eagle just on it. Making puddles, you know. It's like <laughs> <laughs> your USA USA headband just goes on, man. <laughs> just bust out the stars and stripes. I wonder how many be dropping right now that wear a fedora and they're just like this isn't fucking funny I have to deal with this bullshit every time I go out I'm not some beta <laughs> oh. okay well well guys time to get serious cause Titseeker is looking to get the measure <laughs> going <laughs> Titseeker is on his slub rocket he's charging out he's gonna be putting the pressure on here right off the bat we're gonna see uh, what exactly he's gonna be targeting uh, and Titseeker is gonna be going on to on to Ben Ruki here. He wants to uh, start off on the monk. <laughs> and Damex has popped his demon soul. Dots being spread everywhere. Uh, Soda going with that early tranquility as he loves to do against the demon soul. And <laughs> we're going to find out exactly what is going to go down here. This is the third and final best of three. Whoever takes this is going to take the series. You know, it's not a bad idea, but considering that Death Knight didn't use too many cooldowns, I don't know if I like that decision too much. Soda is inside of an asphyxiate right now. Soul Reaper is already up, but it's not going to tick. There's no way in hell that would happen. A port comes out from the Warlock. Krill just trying to get up as much pressure as he can. Throws some dots out onto Titseeker. Siphon does go out. Will it fear anyone? It actually fears Namex. He does get dispelled out of it pretty quickly. Our Shaman friend is too far away. He will not get feared by that Siphon. Nice positioning by him. Uh, maybe Krill could have positioned it a little bit differently too, though, but... Krill is down to 67%. Full dots are up on him. He's actually not missing, or he is missing a UA and a corruption at this point, but it looks like they want to hit Minruki instead. Minruki down to 70%. Yeah. And I think they need a little more spread pressure. You know, throw out some haunts, throw out some, uh, some more dots out onto Soda. His dots are fading right now. Make sure that you keep your 10 second agony. But Titseeker is getting incredibly low thanks to a leg sweep from Minruki into a paralyzed. Titseeker's AMS is ending at this point. Throws out the death strike, two death strikes. He does have conversion up. And he should be fine for now. Yeah, it looks like he is going to be okay. And, and really, the pressure is is much heavily uh, coming from the from the, the side of Mushroom Company. I mean, they're they're doing a really good job keeping the pressure rolling on a second place. Second place is the one falling low in mana, which is not a situation you normally see. I mean. Um, look at Tabaretta, he's in the back, he's at full mana, Soda sitting at half mana, already having used his Innervate, he's really the one under pressure here. The DK pushing in, he's going to be in some trouble though, he's in the Fury, he has the Devouring Plague up, he pops the AMS, or rather the IBF and the AMZ there. Um, Mindfully and Sanis were coming in, they were feared off, there's the Strangulate onto Soda, they're going to make the swap over onto Soda I think. Uh, everyone's at about half HP. Soda is in the tree form though. He's going to get feared on it. Really nice job there by Namex. He wants to follow that up as well. Uh, just shut down that tree form. Keep their team low because if he's allowed to have free reign during the tree form, he will top his whole team back off. And it looks like that may be what's going to happen. But look at Krill. Krill across the map all the way from Soda. Uh, is this burst going to be able to be forced? It doesn't look like it. Uh, Soda was put into another DR fear, but he landed a regrowth or two. I think he should be fine. But Demon Soul back up here once again for Namex. Maybe should have waited till the tree form ended, but it is going down right now. So it looks like it was a good decision. And Monker uh, ben Ruki is in some trouble. He has to pop the Touch of Karma onto Titseeker. Uh, touch of my swag here. Uh, does get the, the Fear Ward once again from Krill. Uh, we can see Krill uh, going for some damage, trying to get those VTs up, trying to keep the pressure rolling. And the Shadow Cleave, though, is really just pouring on the pressure. Uh, the Shaman has not been touched once the whole game. He's just staying in the background, really playing carefully. And I have to say, his positioning has been great. Yeah, I agree. And with positioning like that, it doesn't open him up to swaps at all. But look at Krill down to 16%. He does have to use this version right there. Uh, if Soul Reaper's up and he's below 35%, he's going to dip incredibly low, possibly die just from that. Asphyxia goes out on the Soda, though. 
that 10% mana, the spread pressure has been insane. I do not see Vinruki, Krill, or Soda pulling out the win right here, my friend. Krill down to 52%. The Halter goes out on a Jack by Swag. Vinruki caught inside of that Nasta. He's down to 22%. Full life looms on him and a redo, but will he actually go down? He did use the fuse. He's trying to kite away. Yeah. He's running back into the battle now, but look at Soda's mana. He's completely tapped. This game is almost over. Yeah, I mean, they're just they're just hurting, man. They don't have much of a chance left. Uh, we see Soda's going to pop that Ueda spell. He's trying to get a, a Prowl. He's trying to get the drink off here. He's going for that drink now. The Himmo Hope coming out, and they're not interrupting him. They're not stopping him here with the pet. The pet is right beside him, but it's not actually popping him up. He now gets cleaved, and he's going to be swapped too. He may go down right here. He's almost in soul drain range. He at 30% HP. Big damage coming in. He pops the Battlemaster, drops the Swiftman, but then Ruki at 20% HP. Uh, there's 1%. Then Ruki going to go down. Mushroom Company taking the first game, and I have to say I was wrong. Uh, you know, with the Shaman pick for the Shadow Cleave, they're able to put more than enough pressure out to really uh, keep the game in their favor, start to finish, and um, I, you know, I think second place is going to have to really change it up here, man. They, they're going to have to, I think, go on the Shaman if they want to try to get a kill. You know, just looking at the pace of that game, I don't think they can play uh, a long game. I feel like they have to try to get a burst kill on the Shaman, swap to the Shaman, maybe get a pair on the DK or the Warlock so he can't peel, clone the other, go for the Leg Sweep into the Silence, and just try to all in on that Shaman because they are just getting crushed in the, in the, in the, overall, in the overall pressure in the mana game. It's very true. Mastery is pretty damn good for Warlocks and Death Knights, so no, <clears throat> not not too, too surprising, but I am very impressed with their overall damage output, especially with, you know, the Dark Soul being negated by the Tranquility like Soda likes to do. <clears throat> it might actually be worth it for him to be a Troll Druid, just because it means that Tranquility is going to be, uh, you know, if you match that up, Tranquility is going to go out a lot faster, it's going to take a lot faster and stuff like that, but also... It can pretty much be a cooldown all by itself. It's a lot more healing, you know, especially for a resto druid where you just have hots that are ticking like that, you know, just extra 20% haste, sure. But he did, he will lose his war stomp, that will mean he can't, you know, disorienting roar into war stomp into cyclone or other stuff like that. They do need a lot in order to land a kill against this team. And because Queenie Likilu is no longer in the game. They have to kill a Warlock, and Warlocks just have so many defensive cooldowns, even if their passives aren't that great. But, you know, next patch we are going to get Soul Link. That's pretty cool. Soul Link's pretty good. What you eating? Um, yeah, I mean, Soul Link is pretty powerful, but... What you eating? Almonds. Damn it. It's the only thing I have beside me. Um, but the, the, obviously the, the thing about Soul Link is it's going to be really strong versus some of the comps, but so many teams now uh, just tunnel pets the whole game anyway, so... You're not going to be able to play Soul Link versus a lot of caster teams and things like that because all they're going to do is they're going to dot you and your pet up. And your pet is just going to pretty much just melt. It's it's going to die so, so fast. So it's going to be really strong versus some stuff, but um, versus others, you're, you're never going to do it because at least personally, I play Grimoire of Sacrifice you know, almost every game versus um, any team with a Warlock anymore, especially Warlock plus another caster. Yeah. Yeah, it just makes it so easy for them to swap or and stuff like that. I agree with you. I actually really like your reasoning behind that. Yep. You know, Grimoire of uh, Service is actually pretty overlooked, I feel like. Uh, I think it's terrible. Everyone, everyone thinks Grimoire of Service sucks, man, but it is so much burst for demonology. You'll see. We've, One day, we've you're done gonna, the math on it. You're going to be you commentating, wrong. you're going to be commentating a tournament without me and you're going to see a demonology warlock and he's going to pop two fell guards and his pressure is going to be so insane. He's going to pop two like, fell guards and they're both going to get paired and his whole cooldown is going to be gone. Right. And he's not going to have 25% MS and his pet's going to have less HP for the pet sack and he's just going to be doing terrible damage the whole time and then only time he's going to do anything is during his cooldowns and he's going to get CC'd and he's going to laugh at him. That's what's going to happen. He's going to kill everyone at once from two fell storms with 90% extra damage. <laughs> yeah, well, that could happen. But anyway, we are getting on into this, and this is match point for Mushroom Company. If they take this, they're going to make second place go 0 and 2 to uh, to start things off, which is going to be so rough for them. Uh, really, really not a situation that they want to be into. But what can they do? They're missing one of their players, and uh, that's allowing these teams to ban them into um, a really bad setup. Uh, so anyway. They are going to have to see what they can get done here. It is going to be Shadow Cleave once again going up against the, the God Monk Shadow Priest uh, Druid setup. Sorry, kind of stumbled over my own words there, but should okay. be uh, should be pretty. I'll catch you when good. you fall. Really, but you won't anymore. This is the last time. <sighs> this might be the last game we this ever. This might be the last. Oh my yet. God! What if it's the last game we ever come together, Conrad? 
No, no, no. There'll be AT tournaments and I'll be there. I might cry. If they want me. Or maybe next expansion if PvP is more fun. Or if the community changes and isn't full of. <laughs> Raise your dollars! <laughs> Chat's gonna be spam with that now. Yeah, okay. Sorry, mods. <laughs> You're gonna have to deal with that. Alright, guys. Well, anyway, we are gonna be starting off here. We're gonna have Venruki charging out. What can they get done this time? DK moving out here. He's gonna be going on to uh, Venruki once again to start. Same thing as last game. Dots being spread around here by Namex. Hasn't popped his Demon Soul just yet. Uh, CS comes out there on a Krill. Was that landed? Does not look like it. He's gonna be casting the Mind Blast out of that cap stun. Gonna land there onto Venruki. He's actually gonna use his Nimble Brew on that. Uh, a bit surprising, but they are going to be going onto this onto the shaman. That's the, the right strategy. There's the silence off at Lake Sweep. Look at this already getting so much damage out. Uh, did he just waste his stone form? Yeah, he did. There wasn't even a devouring plague, and he stone formed nothing, uh, which is a big mistake there by Tabaretta, and he could actually be punished for it here uh, pretty soon when the devouring plague does come out. And there is that devouring plague, and now he can't actually stone form it off. But he's using his run cast. He had to use, uh, you know, a decent amount of cooldowns there. He's cutting back uh, to his gateway, though. He wants to be able to get something going, and already things are looking a little bit better here for second place. You can see the pressure they got was, was pretty significant. Uh, he's going to gate away, but he just gated away from his mana tie totem, so he's actually getting no mana back from that, and Van Ruki already back onto him. Fist of Fury coming out onto, onto Tabaretta. Tabaretta down to half HP. Disarm comes off that. Uh, Van Ruki at the same time, going to have to trinket that asphyxia. He's taking a lot of damage. Uh, Touch of Karma comes out there from Van Ruki. We can see that Soda already at half mana. Tabaretta gating out of there, but he's not going to be in range of anyone to Spirit Link, so he has to be careful that the grip back onto Van Fuki, but Van Fuki just charging back after him. We can see these already connected back onto Tabaretta, and Tabaretta is going to be put into the Void Tentrals. He's down 20% HP, might have to link here, and the link does go down. This is looking good for him. Tunneling the Shaman appears to be working quite nicely. Yeah, like you said, he's used so many defensive cooldowns at this point. Are they going to just keep tunneling? Looks like it. Venruki going to connect to him once again, but Venruki is running low on cooldowns himself. It's really hard to just keep tunneling a healer because you're not stopping any pressure, really. And there's Ascendance. I believe that is the last... Oh my goodness, he actually managed to juke the silence by Venruki. So this is the last defensive cooldown that Tabaretta has in the tank. He's down at 33%. He's going to take the gateway once again. Will Venruki be able to catch up to him? There's a Nature Swiftness coming out by Soda. Looks like he's just trying to pick his team back up still. He's getting full feared though, so this is big trouble for team second place. Soda caught inside that full fear. He's out of it now, 48%. He gets put into a half fear though. Curse yeah. of Enfeeblement is up on him as well. Venruki down to 55%. The Palm needs to start bouncing for Krill. He's casting Renews on everyone. I'm sure Palm is on cooldown. He does cast it once again. 40% health on Krill. 51% on Soda. 45% on Venruki. And look at Tabaretta. He's completely fine on health. They need to try and pick themselves up at this point. Nice Tranquility. I really like that. As long as they make sure that Limb Rumbler does not kill him. And wow. That was a nice grip by both players right there. The Tranquility not really doing too much on the Krill. He's going to have to catch some solo heals. Venruki needs some healing as well. But that Tranquility really saved them for sure. Yeah, but there's no Disperse available, and Krill's in a lot of trouble. There's a full fear onto Soda. Krill uh, could be, you know, really really susceptible to getting killed here. Uh, we can see that is actually behind a mana this game, as opposed to full mana last game when Soda was zoomed. So, much better strategy employed here by second place this time around. Triple Howl comes in, though. This could be really bad for them. Uh, looking like they may want to go onto Soda here a bit, but instead they're just going to keep going on Venruki. I actually think Venruki's the worst target uh, for Mushroom Company, so I think that's a big mistake, but Venruki charging in here. He needs to be careful back behind the pillar. Stoneform coming out there once again, uh, but he's Stoneforming before the Desperate Plague, but anyway, uh, Venruki down 10% HP. Soul Reaper goes up. He catches a couple heals there. The NS comes out as well. Tabaretta cutting back to the gateway. He goes through the gate again. Uh, Touch of Karma, I think, was just used, was he? Yeah, it was just used by uh, Venruki, so uh, it definitely uh, does not have much left defensively at all. But there's the leg sweep on his Tabaretta. Is there going to be a silence off? Krill may just go down here. Soul Reaper about to proc. He dispels it, but he's at 5%, and so does NS Silence. He silenced on the UA, and he's going to go down. And Krill does fall. He had to dispel the Soul Reaper, but uh, he could not get out of the UA Silence, and Krill just died to the diseases after that. And that is going to be it for second place. They are going to fall down 2-1 to one to Mushroom Company and go 0-2 overall on their first day here in the Bleach Bones tournament. Yeah, definitely a very unfortunate start for second place. They still <coughs> played phenomenally well every game, especially in the first series. I thought they did a fantastic job in the first series. But this DKLS just put out so much pressure. Did a great job peeling for their Shaman. But that is going to be the final game of the day. <clears throat> so to recap, we had. Oh, what was what was the first team? Fuck. <laughs> the first team. Uh, okay, so I can find that for you in one second. That oh, was. Oh, you got it. Okay.